And yet in the last year, the, the coalition has removed a directive to the AFP to take into consideration Australia's long-standing opposition to the death penalty. That is absolutely un untrue. That is not a correct reflection of what has gone on. And I know that the Labor Party has been promoting this false line, and I am shocked that less than 24 hours after the death of two young Australians, the Labor Party would seek to politicise this issue. The AFP guidelines that were put in place under the previous Labor government remain in place. They are precisely the same guidelines. And to try absolutely not, and I am very angry about this, to think that less than 24 hours after those executions have taken place, the Labor Party is seeking to take a cheap political shot. Shame on them. The AFP guidelines and the ministerial direction um, directive, which has changed, can you explain the difference? They are completely different documents, please. 24 hours after the death of these two young men, and the Labor Party is getting the media to quibble about the AFP guidelines that that are the guidelines under which the AFP operate. They are precisely the same guidelines that Labor put in place. They are precisely the same guidelines that operate today. A ministerial directive is an entirely different document that does not dictate the operational activities of the AFP. I'm not going to answer another question on that. Ms. Mustafa, you snubbed Australia on this issue. Do you believe that that's what has happened here? Let me use my words.